Your Excellencies, very distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, may I crave your indulgence that we return back to our seats. The programs are in two sections. We're going to be done with the first session, and the second session will be a colloquium. Um, refreshment will be served in a jiffy. We'll turn as much as we can to finish this aspect and go into the intellectual part of the event. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I once announced our late former governor of Imo State, Old Imo State, Chief Dr. Sam Mbakwe. Those days, I said, Chief Sam Mbakwe, Chief Dr. Sam Mbakwe is in the house. And he said, Mbamba, Mbamba, Mbamba. And I got so scared that I made a mistake with an elder statesman, with the president sitting and all that. He came to the microphone and said to me, I am Chief Sam Mbakwe, PhD. That he's not Chief Dr. Sam Mbakwe, that is Chief Sam Mbakwe, PhD. And I wanted to know exactly what was the reason. He said to me, I am Sam Mbakwe, I have a PhD, mine is not honorary. This afternoon, Your Excellency, we have a wonderful, fine general who is also a PhD holder. It's not honorary. Join me welcome, Honorable Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Abraman Dam Bazao, PhD. You're welcome, sir. May I welcome the political advisor to the Niger State Governor, Honorable Solomon Njaze, you're welcome. Amiable daughter of the Sawyer, distinguished Senator Grace Bensio, and you're welcome. Renowned name, fighting for the ECOMOC stability of the ECOWAS subregion, then our father and leader, Major General Timothy Sharpidi. One round of applause for him. May I welcome our friends, the diplomatic corps from the Russian Federation. We have the Embassy of the Russian Federation, Mark Shin. Muj Valov. We have from the Embassy of the Russian Federation, Vasily Shepashikin. His Excellency the Ambassador of Mozambique is here. You're welcome. May I welcome also Nigerian High Commissioner to Mozambique, Ambassador Onu Isaac. Distinguished guest, ladies and gentlemen, very quickly, let me celebrate the women. All the women in the house, praise the Lord. All the daughters of Zion, praise the Lord. All the makers of home, praise the Lord. All the helpers of men, praise the Lord. Led by Mrs. Leah Solomon, Chairperson 19 Northern States Christian Women um, Association of Cannes. May I at this juncture welcome all the delegates from the 19 Northern States and the Federal Capital Territory. Please, can you wave to us your welcome? Delegates led by 10 elders per state from the 19 northern states. Northeast, are you here? Northeast, are you here? Northeast Christian politicians, praise the Lord. Northwest, are you here? Are you here? Praise the Lord. North Central, are you here? Can I hear you shout hallelujah? hallelujah? The Bible says in Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. And our people will possess our possession in unity. Distinguished guest, ladies and gentlemen, before the goodwill, let me relax more names. We have very quickly, Senior Special Assistant to the President, Political, Honorable Gideon Samani, you're welcome. Senator Ahmed Abubakar Mo Alayildi, representing Adamawa South, you're welcome. Ibrahim Debita Hassan, Senior Special Assistant policy to the President on Policy Development and Analysis, Office of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, you here. Retired General Shaya Gangum is here. Let's celebrate him, please. We have Honorable Musa Birma, Special Assistant to Mr. President, you are welcome. Let's very quickly also salute the presence of um, His Excellency, the former Governor of Bayas State, the home, the state of glory. Is here. Let's welcome uh, Governor Timmy Silva. Is here. One round of applause for him. Representative of the Minister of Science and Technology, you're welcome. The Vice Chairman of Northern Christian Traditional Rulers Forum, Colonel Paul Zakayom, you're welcome. 
the so much cast ladies and gentlemen let's welcome our brothers from Imo state led by his royal highness Eze abdullah abdul fatah chimeze you're welcome leaders and armist it is time to take some good real messages first even the scripture says in heaven there are elders 24 elders sitting in heaven may i invite another statesman indeed to speak on behalf of the elders of northern christian just if possible 60 seconds as much as you can do it for us we'll be happy let me welcome former governor of old gongola state ambassador to the federal republic of nigeria ambassador weber force juta to speak on behalf of the elders was is coming permit me to prepare the hearts and mind of the equa president evangelical church winning all and he's a president of new life for all he's going to speak next let me appeal to my amiable sister to prepare herself senator garba binta garba she's going to be the third and his excellency the governor of abonia will come again number one And then the M.A. of Ako will speak before the governor. May I now yield the floor to His Excellency, our leader. Praise the Lord! I am very happy to represent our elders, Christian elders of the North, to give a goodwill message uh, is not because my name is Wilberforce. We have had a lot of Wilberforce this morning, but it is not unconnected with the Wilberforce of old either. Some of us that came from uh, heathen homes, I had to go through catechism before I was baptized and get a name. And the name must be from the Bible in those days. But I was able to defend my own choice. You don't find Wilberforce in the Bible. But because of what I learned in school about Wilberforce, what we have had today, I say that is the name I want to take. And that is the name I was baptized with. So that is probably why God said that I should represent the elders. Another thing is that by my own right too, I have seen a lot and I have heard a lot. I, I may be grateful to Almighty God to look a bit younger, but I am over 70 years. In fact, I'm 72 years. So as a Christian politician, I have heard a lot. So but what I am happy about is what we are seeing happening today. The Northern Nigerian Christian politicians. It, had, it could not have come at a better time than now. Always, when something is happening, God has a way of bringing succor, bringing a solution. In 1964, there was something happening in Northern Nigeria during the time of the premier then. There was like a force of something that was trying to almost eradicate Christianity. But then we had the name of Jolly Yusuf, which was mentioned by Bishop Kwasi this morning, and many other names. I want to add to that Reverend Habila Aledeno. So these people went to the, uh, the premier and said, look, Christians are getting dissolution in the north. We need to do something about that. And he said, what do you want me to, to do? You better do it yourself. And that is why, how Khan was started in northern Nigeria 1964. It was in, from northern Nigeria that it became Nigerian Khan later in the 70s. So we had Khan, and after that came the Northern Christian Elders Forum, NOSEF. We have that because God wanted to solve a problem. Today, we are, we are having lots of conflicts and problems. And when I saw this...